AV set, how's it going? Right, okay, I've just been away with the family for a little while, just for a few days. And uh, of course, I managed to pick up some records while we were away. We went to Brixham in Devon, which if you don't know it, it's a, it's a beautiful little um, fishing town. And there's a record shop there. So it's recently changed hands. And as is the case when somebody's starting something new, uh, they put a lot of effort into it. The guy that owns it, is, is the, the stock is excellent. Some really interesting stuff in there and all pretty fairly priced as well. So I picked up four records. So I'll just, I'll show you what I picked up. So. First of all, Miriam Makiba and the album Pata Pata. I mean, this cost me three quid. This is an album that I've been after for quite a while. It was reissued by Strut Records last year, but I didn't want to pay the 20 or 25 quid price tag on it. So please pick this up for a few quid now. Now, Miriam Makiba, probably the most famous vocalist from South Africa. Throughout her career, she recorded you know, in a number of different styles. This is very much a soul jazz album, but um, she also made folk records and such like. But yeah, you know, a beautiful voice. But this is a great record. I think I've shown the 45 of the title track before Pata Pata, which is a well-known tune. But yeah, really pleased to find that. I also got a couple of albums by Patrick Cowley. Now, I was really pleased to find these. Not expensive records, but you don't really see them that often now. For a long time, I only knew Patrick Cowley because of the of his mix of uh, Donna Summer's I Feel Love, the 12 inch version, the 15 minute version of that song, that's Patrick Cowley's mix. And I say it was only, I don't know, a handful of years ago now that, uh, that I realized that he had his own career in the early eighties as well. He worked with the likes of Sylvester, he's a producer and a musician, but he also put, up a ha put out a handful of albums as well. So this is Megatron Man, this is his, his first album. And this is Mind Warp which is his, his third album and final album during his lifetime. He died of AIDS in, I think, about 81, 82 time. Um, but these are very much uh, electronic dance music. You think about the, think of the likes of um, Giorgio Moroder and the music that he was making around that sort of period. It's, it's very similar to that. Perhaps doesn't get the credit it deserves. I mean, everybody knows Giorgio Moroder's name, but um, Patrick Cowley perhaps gets a little bit overlooked. But these are excellent records um, and really pleased to find these for a really good price. And the other record that I picked up from that shop was by Annette Peacock. This is um, X Dreams. Now, the only other Annette Peacock album that I've got is this. This is a third record, the perfect release. And I've got to say, over the last week or so, I've been playing these albums loads. I just really like the style, that sort of laid back. Um, it's like a jazz sound, but almost her delivery is almost spoken words. Uh, yeah, very nice. And a great list of uh, session musicians on here. You've got likes of Bill Bruford on drums. Uh, Chris Spedding, Mick Ronson on guitar, but yeah, an excellent record. I've just got to try and find some more of her music now. So yeah, I've um, really got into that over the last few days. Right, so that was a shop. I also went to a car boot sale when I was down there. Obviously, I've got a little boy who wakes up early, so I was out early as well. And uh, I found this for a quid. This is Donna Summer's uh, Love to Love Your Baby. Now, I've bought so many copies of this record over the years, most of which I passed on to friends. But um, I've been looking for a quiet copy because this is a record that was clearly picked up by everybody and everybody played it. So it's always noisy. It's always, you know, scratched. And, you know, that's, that's what you'd expect from a record that's been loved. But uh, this is quite a nice copy. I say for a quid, it's better than the copies that I already had. So uh, great. But again, Donna Summer, I think that, that um, Love to Love Your Baby is as good as I feel love. Um, love to Love Your Baby, it takes up the whole of the first side of this album. And it's just basically Donna Summer sort of moaning and groaning over the top of uh, Giorgio Moroder rhythm. Wonderful stuff. Right, and from a separate seller, I bought a handful of records. Well, I bought about 25 records, actually. First up was this original pressing of Power, Corruption and Lies by New Order. This was just three quid. Lovely die cut sleeve. This was the only new album, uh, New Order album from the 80s that I didn't have. So really pleased to find that. Most of you will, will, will know about that. And then I just bought a, a bunch of 12 inches, some of which I may well flip to pay for what I, what I bought. But stuff like Martine Giraud, um and her track Revival, which is a lovely um, early 90s acid jazz tune. I'll do a needle drop on that. There's quite a bit of house music that I picked up. Stuff like Needing You by David Morales. Um, yeah, some Orbital there. A nice promo 12 of Satan. And then more obvious stuff, stuff like uh, Groove Jet by Stiller, um, Spiller, which is a, a 12 I've never had. But speaking of that, I bought this from an online seller, from an eBay seller recently. This is Carol Williams and her album Electric Lady. Now, um, Groove Jet by Spiller heavily samples the opening track on this album, Love Is You. So perhaps I'll do a needle drop on that. So there you go. Cheers. <laughs> 